Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digby3 Clock Location. We have level 2D, which might be a pseudonym, but I'm not sure who that is. Otherwise, otherwise a new player to me, Blue Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, I love XTO, starting as the Red Terran. We've seen him previous seasons of the Pasu League. You can follow him on Twitch uh, as well, same name. I love XTO. Great play, and honestly looking sharper this season. Which, wondering if he is going to uh, proceed. This is on Longinus, which has the... Kakaru hallucination out on the map. Just in case you guys are unfamiliar, this is kind of an older map. You've got ridge line, not a ramp. Bucketed in natural expansion here. Third expansion right there. We'll see how this ends up playing out. Or sorry, this is Neosilphid. All the green maps recently. Is this Neosilphid? No, it's Longinus. Longinus. Derping myself. I'm, tr I'm tripping myself out. All of the green palette, the green grassland maps are starting to merge in my brain all of a sudden. Looks like we are going to see a forward gate opener. The jungle tile set. Infamous jungle tile set. Messing with my brain. Barracks along the edge for I Love XTO to go ahead and have little corridors in case Zealot pressure is going to be applied. And we'll see if Zealot, if there is going to be an initial Zealot. I assume there will be, as the barracks is at that forward location from that natural expansion. Eventually all the maps just run together. They're all the same. Got expansions out there, their minerals, their gas. That's my excuse, at least. Probe wandering in. <laughs> Looks like it. there is an opportunity for a gas deal here. Oh, but XTO, sharp! Tacking down that gas just before that probe was diving in. First marine in production. We are going to see a zealot fielded. She'll slow down a little bit of tech. But Zealot's pretty strong in this map, again, because there's no ramp to work with. And a lot of open field to walk through. Over decent distances, first Zealot sprinting his way across. Man, can they... They've got really good running form, too, don't they? For an alien centronid species. It's got that arm pump going. Two Marines. Potentially to welcome XTO. Going to grab... that. That natural expansion. So it's two Marines versus a Zealot. And if they're... And a Probe. And that's actually a winning scenario. For 2D. SCV pulling out. To maybe get an exchange. XTO going to wait for additional Marines before he re-engages. Actually, SCV is just transferring. Let's see if it's going to be SCVs plus the Marines to go ahead and evict. But one SCV down. So Protoss gets the kill. Gets the disruption at the natural expansion. Good play. Three Marines pressing forward. Zealot able to get on top. SCV trying to linebacker. Second Zealot is now going to enter. A bunker is being produced behind this. One Zealot down. The probe still staying alive. One Marine getting wiped out. It's still three on one. But two of those Marines looking very heavily damaged. SCV building the bunker taken out. Nice blockading by that forward SCV. However, each Marine is now a hit away. A fourth Marine joining the fray. And level... Getting a decent amount of disruption. Third Zealot walking past the bunker. Feasting on Marines. The work of the earlier Zealot. Now trapped in the base. But are, is he trapped in there with the Marines? Are the Marines trapped in there with him? Factory being built. This has delayed that command center immensely. And gets another kill to slow down that factory a smidge on top of everything else. And the Zealot still remains. A Dragoon walking straight past that bunker. Again halting that factory. It's still only been one... So finally a second gate being added. Range is not... There either. Finally the Protoss threat neutralized. Inside XTO's base. But XTO able to proceed with that command center. And level... Hasn't grabbed his own Nexus. 
So, and actually he's going to follow this up with DT potentially. So this SCV could be huge. Nice block on the front. I have to feel like XTO smells something in the water. Range complete, especially without additional pressure follow-up. Dragoon taking some free damage. Range should kick in to be annoying here. Second factory plopping down. Machine shop also on the way. But critically, yeah, there's the engineering bay. XTO wise to these shenanigans. Does need to start repairing that forward bunker. SCV getting wiped out on the front. Dragoons pressing forward to potentially press her that front door. We do have that temple archives about halfway finished. So engineering bay is going to finish. It will be in time, but will the turret placement be in time? Kind of like this level guy. Fun play. More Dragoons grouping up. That's going to be four Dragoons, so we're going to need four SCV repairing that bunker. And right now, the SCV remaining idle. Single Siege Tank needs to be careful because those Dragoons can easily wipe it out, taking a flurry of fire right there. But that does give pause to allow that bunker to continue to build. Siege Tank wiped out, though. Dragoon needs to, yes, yeah, get a half step back, continuing to assail it. And this is... And now, actually, Level might just be able to walk through this because I don't know that XTO is going to have sufficient troops to deal with the Dragoons or a Dark Templar just walking in. This is only going to be four Marines and a Siege Tank. Dragoons attacking infrastructure over the wall. DT marching his way across. There will be detection. But this is five Marines, one tank to stop six Dragoons and a DT. Siege mode is there. Dragoon backing out. Critical moment here. DT holding up. Second DT moving across and actually both Dark Templar handled easily as 2D not dedicating the Dragoons to kind of allow them to bully their way through. So XTO now able to get actually it's a little bit silent here. Able to seal up his front a bit and weathers the storm engineering bay hovering over that third to see whether it's going to be a quick double base take it looks like it is going to be a quick eh, quick third but maybe not at the typical location level way behind economically just now getting his nexus online so he does need to grab an additional base now diving in with Dark Templar and Dragoons. Bunker down, Marines gone. This is what I was expecting from the previous attack, but now there's more siege tanks. So level being pushed back once again. XTO still holding. See if he uh, might just draw that barracks back to go ahead and close that gap. Probe tacking on a third base to that 12 o'clock location. Only a single gateway, sorry, two gateways of production, though, for level. And that's two gateways versus two factories and two more factories coming. XTO even in supply count, which is usually a scary thing for any Protoss. So XTO, if he wanted to follow up and get aggressive, in short order, he will have a completely open window to do so. Level mining minerals and not mining gas at his natural expansion. Dragoons pressing up, maybe looking to get a second shot, but there are plenty of siege tanks now. And level needs to preserve the dragoons. Maybe he's just worried about vultures at this stage, but vultures are taking the field. Five factories coming online. I don't know that there's going to be plus one weapons with it. I think this is just going to be straight up five factories, straight up diving. 12 o'clock base wouldn't be defended, but Level's got to worry about defending his natural expansion. Dropping a forge has a pinned probe, no additional gateways, is trying to switch to carriers. This is Protoss Greed right here, and he's going to pay for it. Dragoons 
being assailed to the north. Zealot getting wiped out. XTO moving out in the middle of a tech switch now. First carrier being produced. Dragoons exiting, but this is... I think XTO probably knows about that 12 o'clock base with those commsats, because he is grouping up to attack that direction. Another commsat drop. Yeah, not finding the third there. He's just going to press up. Does spot that there. See if he just dedicates Vulture. Some cannons warping in behind this. So XTO has a big window right here where the troop count's going to be light. And he can do something someplace. But he needs to get a move on because now carriers are on the way for level. And I don't see any whiff of an armory currently. So XTO could be very, very vulnerable to the carrier tech switch. Which is really unfortunate because I feel like he defended well earlier in the match. To just lose it on a greedy tech switch like that is brutal. 12 o'clock base opened up. First carrier going to be fielded. Slow playing the attack, able to quickly wipe out that cannon. Some additional cannons trying to warp into the 12 o'clock base, so this base gonna get wiped out. <clears throat> Probe getting obliterated. And that next is surely going to fall. XTO still has plenty of army to work with. So now these carriers are just going to be here to keep level alive. One carrier out. Waiting for additional brethren. SCV in the wings at two locations to even potentially double expand behind this. However, as I look back in the base, still no armory. Sorry, there's the armory. Are there going to be Goliaths? No Goliaths in queue. And no comps hat has been dropped to this corner of the base to see the carriers coming. Dragoons and Zealots piled in, hugging the wall. It's almost kind of like the nervousness. is like, are the carriers going to be enough? Comps hat drop. Level in the red. So going to need to get additional pylons down before you can get additional carriers into his fleet is going to have four which is a significant number to start bowling things out in open field still no movement towards Goliaths XTO leaving a single vulture to clean up that assimilator if XTO he's still in a very strong position because it's 9 o'clock base there's a lot of territory that needs to be traversed those carriers are going to have to just defend levels natural so they gotta kill all of these vultures all these siege tanks and go ahead and stop that nine o'clock while getting additional base so it's gonna be a tall order for level to get back in this match the carrier is now revealed but there's going to be a while before there's sufficient goliaths to really stop this the carrier is hunting immediately after the siege tanks so if xdo didn't know about it before he knows about it now old school dgh style Shell up, build carriers. Tank count getting obliterated. Not a lot of Dragoons behind this. The siege tanks look like... Yeah, very exposed. A lot of them taken out. Level pressing forward. Finding siege tanks with his Goliaths and with his carriers. So Level has a window before sufficient Goliaths take the field where he can wreak havoc. And is opting to do so, pressing hard towards the natural expansion. Few Goliaths starting to, to group up. We do have four factories. The siege tanks being cleared out. A handful of Goliaths are here, but the Dragoons right there to go ahead and take them out as well. And the carriers in a very strong position where they can abuse that ridge line, pick off Goliaths, and move back and forth. Need to be careful, though, because they're eating some damage here. Charm booster upgrade's not there. No plus one weapons either. Dragoons clearing mines. 
sacrificing their lives for the effort. Level pressing in. While this is happening, vultures have swept into the natural expansion, are clearing every single probe there. So this is turning into something like a base race situation. And that actually, is that going to draw the carriers back? It's currently drawing the carriers back. So XDO able to empty out Level's economy. He's got his 9 o'clock base up and running. The carriers are in retreat, which gives him a window to fill in a lot of Goliaths. No plus one weapons upgrading as of yet, though. And more carriers on the way. Moving north. Looks like just going to clear that turret out. Maybe clear that vulture out just to get an additional base. But XTO going to return the favor. Diving forward with a huge amount of Goliaths and siege tanks. Marching single file towards that natural expansion. Only a single Dragoon right there to try to stop it. Level trying to grab two bases simultaneously, potentially. To try to get back in this economically. But he needs to have these Dragoons clear out these Goliaths to make those carriers effective against the Siege Shanks. And it looks like the Dragoons are entering the fray and getting wrecked before they're even able to to engage in the fight the carriers look like they're going to ignore they're going to try to end around the goliath attack force to get to the siege tanks behind nexus wiped out xto pressing into that natural expansion once again the carriers on the lower ridge able to get behind that goliath force dragoons and zealots peeling in and this is going to send XTO back. However, he has managed to stymie yet another base of level. And he still has the economic lead. Goliath's trying to deal with the Interceptors. A Dark Templar out in the field. And no latent detection. So these Goliath, there's some comp sats dropping. But it looks like between the carriers confusing the Dragoon micro and Dragoon, or sorry, confusing the Goliath micro and the Dragoons underneath. This attack looks like it's going to get cleaned up. But this attack, the question is, is what about the follow-up attacks that are going, that are already en route? Three bases running. Eight factories. Plus one weapons is finished. Plus one armor on the way. A single Goliath able to sneak through the, maybe get a drone. Doesn't look like it's going to get any kills. Base is up at the one o'clock location. But there's going to be no probe transfer and Goliath bowling through no protected territory. So these carries completely exposed. One of them going down, a second one taking heavy fire. And Level has precious little resources to replenish his attack army. Goliath continuing to press in. Dragoon down, so it is just going to be Goliath versus Air. Now ignoring that for the time being, attacking that natural expansion. Carries trying to do their best to maneuver around, but they are under heavy fire more dragoons moving up probes attacking as well and you got two carriers that are very light on health and more goliaths incoming one sorry three carriers more goliaths careening into the natural expansion the dragoons being ignored another carrier down one remains and there is gg from level Level trying his hardest to try to repel that attack, but I believe this means we have I Love XTO advancing to the round of eight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. An intense one, top to bottom. Thank you for listening.